Hello everyone, welcome to Tell Me About It. Today I'm going to be playing Bit Trip Runner by Gaijin Games. Um, I haven't played very much of this game myself. I have played Bit Trip 2 around a friend's house, so I know the general gist of things. It's a runner game, which uh, many of you know are very popular on mobile devices and such, but this is a... Uh, well, it's on the PC, it's on WiiWare, and it could be in a few other places, I'm not entirely sure. It's a retro-style runner game. It's, it arguably popularised the whole runner genre. Uh, it's got an interesting art style. I can't say it's one that I'm a huge fan of. I'm not really big on retro-style things myself, but let's see if the gameplay holds up. I, I am... As per usual, coming in completely cold. I am playing using a gamepad, so hopefully the game gives me some sort of indication as to how to play with that. Uh, right, yes, it is. It is giving me controller. Oh, he doesn't jump very high. Almost certainly jumped higher than that in Bit Trip 2, but that could just be my memory failing me. So it seems you have to collect the gold, and of course jump over any obstacles in your way. Oh, great. Yeah, the, the timing is incredibly precise. He, he doesn't jump very high, so you need to be right on the money with these jumps. Playing the game on camera and talking at the same time is probably going to take its toll, so I apologize in advance, but we'll see how this goes try and collect as much of the gold as I can. It seems the music goes along with your jumps and such. The soundtrack's okay. It's kind of chip y in its execution, but it's not completely. It's very much... I'd, I'd say more electronic than chip tunes. And that's that. First level done. I've learned how to jump. That's wonderful. Retro challenge. Yes, I see. So, uh, is this some sort of bonus stage, or based on old Activision games by looks of things? Oh well, not. <laughs> I should not have tried that. Oh, well. I got some achievements, so that works for me. I got some gold. It's a score-based game by looks of things. I'm not sure whether or not it connects to the internet and has online leaderboards and such. Um, one, two. It's not teaching me any new controls yet, so I'm going to imagine this is oh, there's holes in the floor this time, which I find a lot easier to jump over than other obstacles. So sign me up. Uh, I'm going to take this time while things are quite simple to apologise for my... Oh, I'm now. <laughs> now I've gone and done it. To apologise for my previous video's audio quality. It turns out that actually it wasn't using my microphone at all. I was actually using my um, webcam mic, which is why you probably heard me hitting the keyboard as loudly as you did. So again, apologies for that, but I have since fixed that. I oh I thought I failed there for a second. I'll aim to release a video as well as regularly as I, as I can. I have a good few games left to go through, some more interesting than others. I guess it just depends where the mood takes me. All right, so down to slide. That's simple enough. So I'll slide down there. Oh, very nice. I uh, you know the graphic style is starting to grow on me. In a way, it's it's odd. I'm I'm not exactly sure what to think of it. It's retro styled, yes, but it doesn't seem they went the lazy route that most developers do and just make everything to the. I mean, this is 3D. The only real 2D aspect of this entire game is the main character. Everything, oh, everything else is well modelled. It's got it's got a nice style to it. So good job, Bitrip. 
I'm not usually one to say that about anything that's even moderately retro style, so... One thing I will say is the interface is a bit hard to understand, but then again, you're not really going to be looking at it while you're trying to avoid all the obstacles. Eee, 13 gold. Congratulations, me. So yeah, as I mentioned earlier, this game is controller compatible, so anyone that's not really into controlling games like this with a keyboard, or platformers, or anything in general that involves jumping and precise movements... <laughs> good job, me. Um, that should be good news. It just came... it's, it's directly con compatible with Xbox 360 controls out of the box, I can tell you that much. I'm using a wireless 360 controller here, there was no setup or whatever required, it just worked, so... That's very good. I'm not sure how much this game retails for, as is per usual, I am almost oh, certain I got this game from a Humble Bundle. It seems the challenge is finally starting to um, make itself apparent. Lots of very tight jumps. There we go. Oh, I don't know where I was meant to collect. Oh, great. <laughs> well, at least that gives me a chance to jump onto those platforms. Hey! Another achievement. Everyone play Braid. Not sure what that's a reference to, but I'm sure it's hilarious to anyone in the know. I'm not really all that kept up on indie games. Not to say I don't enjoy indie games, considering the fact I've played so many of them, and I will continue to do so for the sake of these videos, but. Yes, yeah, so I don't really keep up with the scene and such, I just play the games that look interesting. And there have been a few standouts, like uh, I very much enjoyed Braid, Limbo, might cover those in later videos, but we'll have to see about that. Oh, really? That better not throw me back to the start. That was... That was just unfortunate. It doesn't seem to... Know. I remember the second bit trip had checkpoints. I do not think this one does. I think that was one of the complaints slash plus sides that I heard many people commenting on in regards to that game. I'm not sure how I feel about it in this one. I mean, it probably feels great getting through a level with no checkpoints, sure, but at the same time, some of these I can imagine getting fairly long. And incredibly difficult. And this is just the beginning we're talking about here. This is the, what, the third, fourth level? I will try my best to keep up talking while I play this. <laughs> but it's probably going to become increasingly difficult. So I probably won't play much more of this. It seems that the general idea is this. You're running, you're jumping, it gets harder and harder. There might be a few more mechanics later on, so I'll try and play a few more levels to attempt to uncover those. 32 gold, bonus get. So it seems when I get all the gold, I get to do a retro challenge. It seems that's how it works. Let's see if I can do any better this time. I like the little rainbow trailer. I, don't, I can't believe it, I've done it again. I have, I have got to do better there. Well, at least it's only the retro challenge and not the actual levels. Oh, kick! There we go. Alright, let's see what I've got to kick. Because I remember in the new one they got like a, oh, a shield of sorts. I don't know if kick is this game's equivalent or if there's going to be a shield as well as a kick. I do not remember. Let's see if I can make it through this level and I think we'll call it at the end of this one because otherwise... This is going to be more frustrating to watch than anything. I will say I'm quite proud, considering this is my first ever time playing this, that I haven't died. I expected to die a lot more on this, I'll say that much. Yeah, the soundtrack's enjoyable, it goes along with what you're doing. Oh, that was easy. Maybe I'll do one more then. That one was pretty short, simple, just to get you introduced to the kick mechanic. If I die too much, though, I will probably call it before everyone gets too angry at me. But yes, I hope that the... Oh! I hope that everyone is happy with the audio quality in this video, because I have 
Wow, how are you supposed to do that? Because, yes, this is my actual microphone. For recording purposes, I'll probably get something a bit clearer later on, but for now, this will hopefully do the job. It's a nice microphone, but of course, it's not its not recording quality. Listen, that was my A button not working there. I apologize. That was definitely not me. Ooh. So this will be the last level I do, no matter how short it actually ends up being. And then, oh, you're meant to go under this time. And then I will call it. This is very fun. It's it's nice. It's, it's relax somehow relaxing while also being incredibly frustrating and stressful. The controls are fluid. They work well, which is always nice in a game all about split second reactions. That was my fault. I cannot blame the game for that. That's nice. It's nice when you play a game where you don't have to play the game for your for floaty controls or delayed button presses or whatever. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> Alright, so that's two gold I'm missing out. It's, if I keep track of the gold up the top, uh, I can at least tell how close I am from the end of the level. That's if I can even get a chance to look at it. Kick. Take the gold, go up the stairs. I do not like the stairs. But I hate the platforms even more, because they seem to spread... The Right, so you definitely... This is my last... Two more goes. Two more goes. Let's see if we can do this. Jump over the gap. Jump over the gap. Jump over this. Jump. Don't get the gold. Alright, don't get the gold. That's fine. Right now, I am more concerned with getting to the end of this level than... Alright, drop. Slide and grab the gold and then start jumping. I just like gold. I don't know what it is about it. It doesn't help me get to the end of the level. I just love collecting it. Good job, developer. You've made me want the gold, even though it does absolutely nothing for me. Last time I actually cared about collectibles was Spyro the Dragon, so you know how long ago that was. Whee! I did it. I think. Oh, it's a rock. It's some stairs. Ooh! Now it's getting... Now it's getting difficult. Let's get some gold, and... Oh, I was one gold short. I'm kind of disappointed in myself there, but... Oh well. It's better than nothing. So yes, we will call it there. So yeah, it's a it's a fun game. Very fun. Graphics are well they could no they're hit or miss really. I like them in general. They're okay. They're not much to write home about. Soundtrack's alright. The gameplay really is the star of the show here, and that they pulled off magnificently, so good job BitTrip Runner. I might even play a little bit more after this video is done. But anyway, that was a, another episode of Tell Me About It. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.